Uh, we'll get it started with uh, Ray in Maryland. Ray, go ahead. You're on with Matthias and Rudy from Scorpions. Oh, thanks, Eddie, for this. Uh, Rudy, Rudolph, Matthias, love you guys. This is an honor for me. You're two of my guitar heroes, brothers. Thank you. All righty. Thanks. And uh, the first time I got to see you guys was in the summer of 1988 on the Monsters of Rock tour. And you guys, I thought, stole the show. I thought you were fantastic. And this crazy thing happened near the end of when you guys played, where everybody in the stadium started throwing food. My friend that I was with got pelted in the face with a mustard-loaded hot dog, and it got crazy. <laughs> we ended up... Yeah. Food's expensive at shows. I don't know why people would throw food or beer. It's a lot of money at a concert. You're wasting <laughs> well, money, but go ahead, Ray. Back then, it wasn't so bad, and the ticket was 25 bucks. and of course, that was Kingdom Come, Metallica, Dokken, uh, Scorps, Van Halen, so it was a pretty good deal, but it got so crazy during Van Halen, we left about two-thirds through during their set because people started fires. It was an RFK stadium in Washington, D.C., and it was just crazy. I figured, I don't know how much of that you saw, because it started toward the end of your set, but it happened before Van Halen came on, and and it got really crazy. And it's just a fond memory for me. And I just wanted to thank both of you for the great music that you've given us over the years, guys. And I'm glad you're still making music, which is really cool. So just thanks for everything, guys. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate thank that. You, Ray. Yes, you guys, you. That, tour, story. that tour in 88, the Monsters of Rock tour, exactly. was, was legendary. And still people still talk about it, as you can see with Ray. What, what are your memories of it? And did you have much interaction with Eddie Van Halen at that time? I mean, we, we, uh, by the way, in 1996, my brother called me. Uh, seven, 76, yeah. 76, called me and said, Rudolf, why are you guys not playing in America? And you know, uh, what? Yeah, we want, to, but this is, we can't. Yeah, but here it's a band playing around called Van Halen. They're playing your stuff. He is coming and catch a train and then, then, then. Oh, they were playing early yes, Scorpions Van exactly. Halen early on, yeah. So, and then when we met, when we was running each other, this was already before in Hamburg at CCAH when they uh, opened up for Black Sabbath. Um, and we went backstage and we had then a party for uh, David Ross's birthday. Um, they came, David came and, hey, catch a train and stuff. I mean, we, we, we somehow became friends, uh, because they're coming from Los Angeles and we are from, from Germany. That was a completely <laughs> crazy, uh, uh, mixer. And we are still, uh, good, good friends. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in, in Eddie's studio. He played us the new stuff. We, back yeah. in, in 1988, we had Savage Amusement just released, so we played it to them in their studio also. And during the tour, I spent a lot of time with Eddie uh, because we happened to have the hotel rooms always on the same floor, almost. <laughs> always on the same floor. We were sitting together. He showed me how to empty the see-through liquor in the mini bars. <laughs> like, like, uh, like vodka. Like refill it so you don't get billed for it? And, and oh, gin, how did you just, you know? oh, just empty drink it all? <laughs> yeah, no, drink it and refill it with tap water and close the... Oh, the, so you didn't get billed? Yeah. So then whoever took the room next <laughs> yeah, poured tap yeah, water yeah, out of a gin bottle. Yeah, had a break <laughs> from gin. <laughs> so Eddie Van Halen had a way to reseal the bottle yes. to make it look like it hadn't been yeah, tampered that's with. what he showed me. And <laughs> also, I mean, he showed me also like the, the drop D tuning and how he created his riffs. And we are sitting together with guitars. Wow, that had to be amazing. That, yeah, it was great. He I, was a very nice guy. Yeah, I, I, it's, that's what, you know, of course, everybody says. From a guitar player standpoint, though, Rudy, you're, so your brother was probably here touring with UFO, I would think, at the time. Oh, yes. And then he sees Van Halen and hears about him in the club playing yeah, your exactly, old songs. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And then you, when you first heard him, did, when you and you heard Eddie play, were you like... What's going on? I mean, this that's is crazy. the reason why we went uh, to in Hamburg, CCH, to see uh, Van, he uh, Van Halen uh, open up for Black Sabbath, né? and uh, we was blowing the first away. Album was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was really a really and time killer. Yeah. That